All right there, uh, Adam, uh, I'm just going to do a short private video for you. I don't really have time to clean up and do a real uh, spectacular video, but it'll show you everything is working and sounding great. Uh, so uh, you have a Stryker 955 version one. Uh, it is a, a, a nice radio. It's got a full tune out done, upgraded finals, hi-fi transmit, hi-fi receive with upgraded filter, an upgraded echo board with mods done to it set internally, and also a five band internal equalizer. And then I did not forget about your switch. I've seen that in the notes. I've seen you wanted a video too, so I'm going to make you a private one. I haven't made any public ones in a while because I've been trying to catch up. As you can tell, I'm a couple weeks behind on your radio, but it is done now, so we're all good. Here, Casey's actually building your wiring harness now. Your D104 is all done. I just got to put a ferrite bead and heat shrink on that for you too. So, Anyway, uh, back to the radio. Like I said, uh, everything is complete. It's doing good. We'll go ahead and show what output we have on the dosi here and uh, uh, modulate it. Uh, we are doing 125 watts, maybe 127 watts, something like that. 100 watt slug, we're looking at the bottom scale, average power. Uh, we're doing about 54 bird or so. Uh, we'll look at uh, peak on the 250 watt slug, that would be the top scale uh, is what we're reading. And we're doing about 140 watts peak on the bird. Uh, we'll look at the uh, spectrum analyzer here and uh, everything is nice and clean there. 30 megahertz span, zero on the reference. Uh, so we're good, 30 megahertz wide. Got my peak kit back off. Uh, here we got 149 watts on the LP100A as well. So good power, uh, doing fantastic. All right, so now I'm going to unplug here and I'm gonna plug in this uh, handheld D104 and uh, it has been modded and we'll go ahead and you know, see what this thing sounds like over the air. I'm gonna try to put my headphones in with one hand. I don't have no tripod or nothing to hold this phone with, so bear with me if I'm giving you nausea on the video here. All right, still hooking these things up. All right, I got my line level cord over here for you, Adam. I'm gonna plug it into my phone and you'll be able to hear what this thing sounds like over the air. All right, uh, there we are. Oh, I've actually got the echo uh, flipped off. It uh, still sounds great uh, without the echo board on and I've got the mic gain wide open, but it certainly will sound even more full and even better with it on. So one second, let me uh, get back here. You'll see that switch is in the down position. So let me put my mic down. All right, now uh, the switch is in the upright uh, position and you get to hear it. Uh, with this aftermarket echo board that I use and modify. Hello, one, two, it's a whole lot better than the original board that these come with. Uh, they're very muddy, uh, so uh, make sure you keep it flipped to the off position here. But anyway, there it is uh, for you, Adam. Uh, mic gain is wide open, echo is adjusted properly, and then I could even back down the mic gain to three. And uh, let you hear the difference here. Uh, so if you want to be a little more smooth, a little less loud, uh, you can still run it back a little piece if you'd like to. I always try to leave a little bit of headroom, but it's still going to be clear, uh, even wide open. Uh, thanks again, Adam. Hope you enjoy this heavily modified version one, Striker 955, Breaker Breaker.